Every girl, every boy, come on up in the pure eyes. There's a world right here, full of wonder and surprise. Let's go and find the thimbles. Thimbles, thimbles, thimbles. Where's the thimbles? Can you guess what it is? It's a bit wiggly. <laughs> it's a circle. I'll do another one. There. What about that? Mm. Hello, Flory. What are you doing? I'm making these. Can you see what they are, Bimbo? Um. <laughs> Circles, Bimbo. Oh, of course, circles. There. Oh yes, what a good circle. Now, um, what shall we do with them? Let's play a game. Oh yes, a game. Hi, <laughs> Shaggy. <laughs> oh. My love, you can't still be hungry. You've just had an enormous meal. <laughs> oh, hello, Pom. Bessie, look. Oh, what's that? Oh, bless my feet and beak. I haven't seen one of those in ages. A spinning top. <laughs> Hi, spinning top. It spins round and round, Pom. Yes, round and round. Lots of things go round and round. Shall we see? <laughs> see, see. Oh, round and round, Bessie. Yes, Pom. It's an umbrella. And here's something else that goes round and round. a ride at a fair. It's going round too. And there's another kind of spinning top. Round and round. Yes, 
Yes, that's the washing in a washing machine. <laughs> the wheel on the back goes round and round. The wheels on the buggy go round and round all day long. Oh, pretty colours. That's right, Pom. Shall we make this spinning top go round and round? Ha! Ah, Pom, do it. Now lift the handle up. Up. That's it. Now push it down. Up and down. And up and down. Down. Now let it go, Pom. Down. Oh, round and round. Oh, that's right, Pom. Round and round and round and round. Spinning. You're going to bump into something. Oh, oh. Are you all right, Pom? Oh, Pom, dizzy. Oh, you certainly are. Uh, wobbling all over the place. Uh, very dizzy. Um, you know what I think, Pom? Huh? I think you've got the dizzy. Dizzy. Oh, dizzy. Dizzy. Uh oh. Pom. Ooh, I'd better go and tell the others. Hey! There we are. One red circle, one yellow circle, and one blue circle. Now, how do we play this game? And um, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> now what do I do? Well, you choose a colour and then you see if you can throw the pine cone into that colour. Oh, I see. Well, I choose red. Uh, oh. Yay! <laughs> I did it! Oh, your turn, Thimbo. What colour do you choose? Um, blue. <gasps> it... Oh, I oh. missed. Um, I I'll try again. Oh, oh, missed again. Oh, oh, oh my turn now. <laughs> quick, quick, come quickly. Oh, what's the matter, Rocket? It's Pom. She's got the dizzies. <laughs> oh, the dizzies? Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, come and see, Flurry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you see, that's the dizzy. Oh, hello, Paul. Oh, sorry. Look, a Pom 75. Oh. oh, what's that? A spinning top around and around. Oh, how does it work? Oh, like this? Up and down, up and down. Round and round. Oh, oh it spins around. <laughs> Look at it go! Oh, look, sorry, Tom's got the dizzies again! Oh, I think I know why! Look! Oh, that's why Tom's got the dizzies! She's spinning round and round, like the spinning top! Oh, watch out, Tom! Oh, oh dear, Tom! Oh, it's broken. Oh, it's broken. Broken? Ah, oh, broken. Oh, oh no, Pom. The top's come off. It won't work anymore. Oh, no more round and round. No, Pom. 
shall we take it to Roly Mo and see if he can mend it? Oh, <laughs> tippity toppity idea, Flurry. Well, let's go and find him. Come on, Paul. <laughs> Did you say a spinning top, Bessie? That's right, Roly. Pom found a spinning top. What? I haven't seen one of those in ages. Oh, well, do you know, that's exactly what I said. Oh, I do like watching them go round and round and, and round. round and round. <laughs> oh, hello, Pom. Uh, Roly. Uh, round and round. Oh, oh, oh. Well, yes, I do roll round and round, don't I? <laughs> Just like your spinning top. <gasps> Where is it, Pom? Broken. Oh, dear. Whatever happened? Oh, oh, Pom got the dizzies and she knocked it over. Oh, and look, the handle came off. Oh, dear. Pom got the dizzies? <laughs> yes, she gets the dizzies when she spins round and round and then she walks all wobbly like this. <laughs> oh, round and round broken. Oh, can you mend it, Roly? Please. Oh, let me have a look. Hmm. I wonder. Maybe we can glue the top back on. Oh, yes, please, Roly. We want to see it spin again. Yes. I'll do my best. Don't look so glum, Pom. What about a story, meanwhile, to cheer you up? Oh, eh? a story, story. Righty ho. Back in a Roly Mo. <laughs> Books over here, books over there, books, books everywhere. When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo, boo. Oh, wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a fimble or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Ooh. Now then, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called A Windy Day. Once upon a time, a little old woman decided to go shopping, so she put on her new red hat. It was a very windy day, and soon the little old woman saw her friend Mrs. Brown. I'll go and show her my new red hat, she said. Just then, the wind blew the hat right off the little old woman's head. Oh dear, she cried. Come back, hat. But the hat was enjoying himself. He spun round and round in the wind, up as high as the church weathercock. I'm spinning faster than you, called the hat. The wind blew him over the rooftops, over the garden, over fields and hedges, until suddenly the hat saw something in the distance. It was a tall, thin thing, but it had four enormous arms. Ooh, is it a monster? wondered the hat. A round smiley man came out. Thank you, wind, he called. I'm going to make some flour today. You've made the sails turn on my windmill. Oh, silly me, said the hat. It's a windmill. Just then, the wind changed its mind, as winds often do, and blew the hat back over the fields and hedges, over the gardens and rooftops, over the weathercock, and back onto the little old woman's head. What a smart new hat, said Mrs. Brown. Thank you, said the little old woman. But she said quietly to the hat, Now stay there and don't fly off again. And the red hat thought he had probably had enough adventures for a while. Oh, hat around around. Oh, that's right. The hat went spinning round and round. <laughs> now, let's see if I can help your top go spinning round and round again. <laughs> 
Well, you can help me if you like, Pom. Oh, yes, please. Uh, Pom help and Rolly. Oh. <laughs> oh, I wonder what Fimbo's doing. Uh, oh, Fimbo! Oh, oh, Flurry! Look, look, I, I can do it now. Um, I'm going for the yellow one. Uh, hmm. Oh. No, Ribble, it's the wrong colour. Oh, try again, Fimbo. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> oh, oh, can I have another go, Fimbo? Of course you can. Oh, what colour shall I choose, Ribble? Okay, I'll go for blue. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fimbo, do you want to come and see Pom's spinning top? Oh, that sounds like fun. Uh, where is it? Rolly's mending it. Let's go and see if he's finished. That'll do it. Good as new. Hey! Around and round. Oh, look, Flory, look, Simba. Around and round. Around and round, round and round, spinning a top. Around and round and round, spinning. Woohoo, stop! Oh, watch out, everyone. She's got the dizzies again. Dizzy. Oh, oh. Oh. No more dizzies. Let's spin the top, Pom. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, there you go, Pom. It should be as good as new. something that turns round and round? Come and find us again next time. Now, we must fly. Goodbye. Time for bed. <laughs> oh, which color?
colour do you like best, Rocket? Yellow or red? Um, yellow or red? Yellow or red? Uh, I know! Blue! <laughs> <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Fibbo funny! Oops! <laughs> Baby Pom. noise when you walk on them. <laughs> Scratching noise. <laughs> Leaves fall off the trees when it's autumn time. Look at all those different coloured leaves. Green, gold and brown. And the leaves rustle. Rustle, rustle. <laughs> I'm playing in the leaves. <laughs> that is funny. Rustle, rustle. Leaf. What are you going to do with it? Oops! <laughs> oh, tearing paper! Oh, a tippity toppity game. Can I help? Of course you can, Rocket. We're making a paper picture. Oh, I'm the best frog ever at making paper pictures. <laughs> oh. What are they exactly? Well, you tear up your paper into little pieces. Oh. And stick them onto this big sheet of paper, like this. Oh. Mm -hmm. You can do lots of different shapes and colours. Uh, this bit's red. And this bit's yellow. Oh. Oh, 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 there's a hole in the middle. Can I have a go? Can I, can I, can oh, I? Well, oh, well, you have to be careful with glue or you might get your fingers all sticky. <laughs> Uh-oh, too late. Oh, quick, quick, put some paper on me and I'll be a froggy paper picture. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Shall I clean it off for you? Oh, yes, please, Flurry. <laughs> oh, Flurry, uh, that tickles. <laughs> You're really tickling me. <laughs> stop, Flurry, stop. <laughs> I mean, don't stop, Flurry, don't stop! <laughs> oh, 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 Flurry? Yes, Rocket? 
Bet you can't catch me. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> I'm going to catch you, Monkey! <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> oh, 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 do you want to put it back up in the tree, Pom? Oh, yes, please. Uh, what you put in his back? Oh, all right. I'll have a go. I am the jumping frog. Oh! oh. Hey! Oh. Oh. Oops! <laughs> a rocket! Oops! Oh, yes, oops! <laughs> Sorry, Pom. Let me have one more go. <laughs> Hey! Oh. 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 Smelly jelly. Oh, never mind, Lee. We'll look after you. Yes. Home. Leaf go home. Good idea, Pom. We need to find the leaf a new home. Uh, hmm. I wonder where it would like to go. We're going to find you a new home, Leaf. Where would you like to go? Uh, leaf go home. Oh. <laughs> Back on your very own tree, high up in the sky. Yeah. We can't put you back on your very own tree because it's much too high. Yes. Where oh where would you like to be? Where would you like to be? Oh. Would you like to come and live with me? Where would you like to be? So, Fimbo. Uh, rockets? Yes. Got you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Pom. <gasps> Look at our picture. Now, I'm just looking for something to finish it off. <laughs> Look, Fimbo. A Pom of Fimbo find me. Oh, that's a lovely leaf, Pom. Uh, a leaf go home. A leaf wants to go home? Uh, oh, does it want to go back in its tree? Uh, no, Fimbo. Uh, leaf new home. Oh, look, Pom. It's a bit dirty. Shall we give it a bath? <gasps> leaf bath? Hmm. Let's just give it a quick wash in the play dip, shall we? Oh, uh, bath. <laughs> 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 Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> Come on, Leaf, let's give you a bath. Oh, hello, <laughs> Fimbo. We were just talking about Ribble having a bath. Oh, oh, we're going to give Pom's Leaf a bath. Oh, look at that little chick. It's bath time for the Leaf, just like you. <laughs> leaf bath, Ribble. Uh, Ribble's not very keen on his bath, Fimbo. Could you try and make it look fun, my duck? Oh, all right, Bessie. Um, come on, Leaf. Bath time. <laughs> oh, rub a dub dub. A leaf in a tub. A <laughs> tub. <laughs> what fun! Rub a dub dub. Time for a scrub. A scrub. <laughs> a rub a dub dub. A leaf in a bath. A bath. <laughs> and rub a dub dub. We're having a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> rub a dub dub. Where have you been? Oh. Rubber dub dub, you're lovely and clean. Hi, oh, lovely and clean. <laughs> now you can have your bath, Ribble. <laughs> oh, well done, Fimbo. Ribble wants his bath now. Oh, good. Um, what shall we do with the leaf now, Pom? Uh, uh, find Rolly Mo at Leaf Dory. Well, let's go then. I'll see you later, Bessie. Have a fun bath, Ribble. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sure he will. <laughs> where, oh, where would you like to be? Where would you like to be? Right. Would you like to come and live with me? Where would you like to be? Where, oh, where would you like to be? Where would you like to be? Huh? Would you like to come and live with me? Huh. Where would you like to be? Huh. 
<laughs> oh, that's a delightful little song, Fimbo. <laughs> what was it all about? <laughs> Farley, Farley! <laughs> oh, what a beautiful looking leaf. <laughs> yes, that's what the song was about, Roly. <laughs> We're trying to find it a new home. Oh, are you indeed? Well, maybe you'd like a story while you're thinking. <gasps> Oh, yes, please. <laughs> right -o. back in a roly mo. <laughs> when you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. boo. Wonderful things. And maybe a fimble or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Ah, here we are. Are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called The Tale of a Tree. One day, Ben and Charlie went to see their granny. Boys, you must come and see what I've planted. In the garden was a small red tree. But trees are green, said Ben. Not this one, said Gran. The twins thought the red leaves were beautiful. But next time they went to Gran's, the red leaves had all gone. Don't worry, said Gran. It's nearly winter. Leaves always fall off this time of the year. They'll be back. All through the winter, Ben and Charlie visited the tree to see what was happening. One day, Ben noticed that there were little green bumps on it. They're buds, said Gran. Soon they'll turn into leaves. Gran was right. The tree did grow lots of leaves, but they were different. These leaves are green, said Charlie. Where are the red ones? Ah, well, said Gran. You'll have to wait till autumn comes round. The boys didn't want to wait. But soon it was the summer holidays, and they almost forgot about the tree. Next time they went to Gran's, the leaves had turned yellow. They liked the yellow, but not as much as the red. Then it was autumn, and the leaves were red again. Hooray! said Charlie. Red is best. Soon they'll be gone, won't they? asked Ben. That's right, said Gran. And then next year they'll grow all over again. Green, yellow and red, said Charlie. And Gran gave them each one red leaf to take home. There were lots of leaves in that story, weren't there? Oh, leaf go home. Oh, leaf go home. <gasps> More leaves! Oh, 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 look, Finbo! Oh, yes, Pom. Uh, are you going to put it with all the other leaves? Yes! Whoops! Come back, Leaf! Come on, Pom. Let's follow it. Be careful with the glue, Rocket. You don't want to get all sticky again. <laughs> don't worry, Flurry. I won't. <laughs> oh, 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 look, Thimbo. We've nearly finished our picture. Look, you want leaf home now. Oh, it wants to be in our picture. Oh, yes, I think the leaf has found a new home. Oh. <laughs> so this is where you'd like to be, where you'd like to be. You do want to come and live with me, this is where you'd like to be. Don't want 
to be up in a tree You don't want to be down on the ground Cause this is where you'd like to be where would you like to be? Would you like to come and live with me? Where would you like to be? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that looks just right now, doesn't it, Rocket? Oop. Help! Had a busy day today, didn't they? <laughs> Do you remember who found the leaf? <laughs> That's right, it was Pop. A beautiful leaf. Thimble and Florrie were making a paper picture, and Pom wanted to find a new home for the leaf. She wanted to put it up in a tree, but it didn't want to go back, did it? Even though Rocket jumped really high. <laughs> Bimbo gave it a bath, and Pop tried putting it with all the other leaves. But in the end, the leaf found a home in their picture. <laughs> and Rocket got covered in glue and paper again. <laughs> Maybe you could try making a paper picture with some old pieces of paper. And maybe you might see a leaf falling. Come and find us again next time, won't you? Now, we must fly. Goodbye. Every girl, every boy Come and open up your eyes There's a world right here Full of wonder and surprise Butterfly little one, would you like to be a butterfly little one? You can flap your wings. <laughs> now I'm going to be a butterfly. You could try too. Come on. Ho, oh, hum, whoa. <laughs> what are you doing, Fimbo? I'm being a giant flurry. You have to hold out your arms like this and be big, big and noisy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being a giant too. I am the giant frog. Rah, rah, rah. A biggity, jiggity giant. Rah, rah, rah. Come hey. and be a giant, Flurry. Oh, no, thank you, Fimbo. I'm being a butterfly. Do you want to play my butterfly game? Oh, in a minute, Flurry. We're being big and noisy giants just now. Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll go and find Pom. Maybe she'll play butterflies with me. Whee! Stomp! Stomp! <laughs> rah, rah. Big and noisy! Hey, jiggity, juggity! <laughs> <laughs> Pom, big, pom little, 
I don't think Pom wants to play butterflies. I think she's playing her own game. Don't you? Whee! Oh, hello, Fluffy. Oh, hello, Bessie. What you up to today? I'm playing a butterfly game and I'm looking for someone to play with me. Well, I don't think my ribble can come and play. Look, the little darling's nearly asleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll try not to wake him up. Oh, oh, I'm getting the fimbling feeling. I'm going to find something. Yay! I can feel a twinkling. I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. Oh, there is something to be found here. But where is it? Uh, is it here? No. Or is it there? Oh, oh can you see it anywhere? Um, oh, oh, there's nothing here. <laughs> I heard something. Did you? <laughs> oh! Oh, Bessie! Bessie! Ooh. Come and listen to what I found! Oh, what have you found, Flory? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! What is it? Well, it sounds like a whisper, Flory. What's it saying? Come and play with me. It says, come and play with me. Come and play with me. <laughs> it's very quiet. Yes, whispers are very quiet. Shh. Shh. It's baby's bedtime. They're being very quiet, aren't they? Yes, they are. Put her in a cot. Took her in. Now, my darling little chick. Oh, why are you whispering, Ribble? What did you say, sweetheart? Can you say that again, my darling? <laughs> oh, you funny little cheeky chops! <laughs> Come and play with me. <laughs> Come and play with me. Can you whisper too? Come and play with me. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! 
Oh, I am the giant bouncing frog. Hello, Rocket. Oh, why are you talking so quietly, Flurry? Because I found a whisper in the play dip, and now I can whisper too. Ha- Ooh. Can you show me how to whisper, Flurry? I could be the whispering frog. <laughs> All <laughs> right, Rocket. Listen very carefully. Whisper, whisper, please don't shout They know hear what it's all about Whisper, whisper in your ear Listen very carefully, then you'll hear Whisper, whisper, hush, hush, hush Whisper, whisper, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Shall I whisper my whisper to you, Rocket? Yes, please, Flurry Come and play with me Ooh. Oh, what did Flurry say? Um, it sounded like... Can you count to three? Is that right? Yes, I'm sure it is. Can you count to three? One, two, three! Ha-ha! <laughs> One, two, three! I can count to three! Ha-ha! <laughs> Whee! Rocket? Rocket? Where's Rocket? I whispered to him to come and play with me, but he's not here. Hello, Tinkling Tree. Come and play with me. Whisper, whisper, hush, hush, hush. Whisper, whisper, shush. Ho, ho! <laughs> I'm a giant! <laughs> stomp, stomp, stomp! One, two, three, whee-hee! Hello, Finmo. Why are you talking so quietly, Rocket? I thought you were being a giant! Uh, not anymore. Now I am the Whispering Frog. Flurry has whispered me a whisper. A whisper? Hmm. Can I have a whisper too? Yes, you can. Listen very carefully. <laughs> When you want to whisper, please don't shout Cause a very big noise will always come out Whisper, whisper, please don't shout Then I'll hear what it's all about A Whisper, whisper in your ear Listen very carefully, then you hear Whisper, whisper, hush, hush, hush Whisper, whisper, shh Are you ready? Here's Flurry's whisper. Ahem. Can you count to three? Pardon, Rocket? Can you count to three? Ha <laughs> Now, what did Rocket say? Um, it sounded like, Can you come to tea? Hmm, yes, that's right. Can you come to tea? <laughs> I am feeling a bit hungry. I think it's time for a crumble cracker. <laughs> Hello, crackers. Are you in there? Can you come to tea? Hmm, I don't think these crackers know how to whisper. <laughs> Hello there, Fimbo. Oh, hello, Roly. Uh, Rocket just whispered a whisper to me. Oh, did he? And what did his whisper say? <gasps> Can you come to tea? <laughs> and I take it that tea will mean crackers? Mm, right, Roly. <laughs> How did you know? Oh, just a guess, Fimbo. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Pom. Are you coming for tea, too? Come to tea? Oh, yes, Pom. Oh, then perhaps you, too, would like a tea time story. Oh, story, story. <laughs> All right, then. See you for tea. Back in a roly mo. <laughs> Here you are, Pom. When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. 
with cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo, boo, wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a fiddle or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Here we are. Now, are you sitting comfortably? Yes, Polly. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called The King's Tea Party. Once upon a time, there was a king who loved having tea parties. So one day he made some delicious jam tarts, pink jelly, jam scones, and fluffy ice cream. Ah, tea time, he called, and banged the palace gong. I'm busy, called back the queen. Sorry, Dad, can't stop, said the princess. She whizzed past on her roller skates. Oh, too much to do, your majesty, called the maid. The king looked at all the lovely food on the table. Oh, it's a shame to waste it, he said. So he sat down to eat it. But the food didn't taste very good with no one else to share it. He felt quite sad. <whistles> said a blackbird. That looks good. Oh, shoo, said the king. You can't eat my nice tea. <whistles> Please. I'm hungry, said the blackbird. All right, said the king. Help yourself. Nobody else is going to eat it. So the blackbird dived into the pink jelly, and the jelly wobbled all over the table. The blackbird liked the pink jelly so much it started to sing, and his song echoed all around the palace. It was such a beautiful song that the queen left her tomatoes the princess whizzed along on her skates. The maid left the washing. Everybody came to hear the blackbird. Then they saw the food. Oh, what a lovely tea, they all said. I made it myself, said the king proudly. And they all sat down to eat the tasty tea and listen to the blackbird singing. There we are then. Did you enjoy your tea time story? <laughs> yes, thank you, Roly. I mean, yes, thank you, Roly. <laughs> That's a good whisper, Fimble. Whips, huh? A whisper is when you talk to someone in a very quiet voice, Pom. Oh, hello, Whips. Flory whispered a whisper to Rocket, and Rocket whispered it to me. Shall I tell you what the whisper said, Pom? Can you come to tea? <laughs> come and play with me. Oh, come and play with me. That was my whisper, Pom. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was, can you count to three? No, it wasn't. It was, can you come to tea? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was, come and play with me. <laughs> I think I know what's happened. Flory, whisper your whisper again. All right. Come and play with me. Oh, that sounds like, can you count to three? I think it sounds like, can you come to tea? <laughs> oh, come and play with me. That's right. You thought Flory said something different. Oh, <laughs> yes, and I said, come and play with me. <laughs> well, what shall we play? Oh, oh, I know. You were playing giants and I was playing butterflies. So why don't we play the giant butterfly game? Oh, butterfly. Hey, tippity tuppity! I am the giant butterfly frog. Ha! Ah! Oh, uh, how do we play, Flurry? Oh, oh, well, we take very big steps and we flap our wings and we whisper. <laughs> <laughs> when you want to whisper, please don't shout, 'cause a very big noise will all shout out. Whisper, whisper, please don't shout. Then I'll hear what it's all about. Whisper, whisper in your ear. Listen very carefully, then you'll hear. Whisper, whisper, hush, hush, hush. Whisper, whisper, shh, shh, shh. Oh, well, my little.
little chickadee. The Fimbles had a busy day today. Do you remember who found the whisper? <laughs> That's right, Flory found the whisper. And the whisper said, come and play with me. Then Flory whispered to Rocket. <laughs> and he got it a bit muddled, didn't he? He thought the whisper said, can you count to three? And Fimble thought it said, can you come to tea? <laughs> Baby Pom got it right, didn't she? Come and play with me. Can you whisper very quietly too? Come and find us next time, won't you? And we must fly. Goodbye.